Hi friends, I have come with a short or a small topic that is neutron proton scattering. Right? Neutron proton scattering is also called as NP scattering. So, what is a neutron proton scattering? Let us consider a deuteron nucleus which is a bound system. There must be attractive forces between the neutrons and the protons. Okay, so in between the neutrons and protons, attractive forces will present. That is why then only neutrons and protons are together inside the nucleus. Further information regarding the inner internuclear nuclear force can be obtained by scattering of free neutron by proton. Okay, so if you allow the proton and the neutron, then we get uh, some uh, some other information. What else? For this purpose, a parallel beam of a neutron is allowed. A parallel beam of neutron is allowed to incident on a target containing hydrogen atom. So here it is a target. What I am doing? I am allowing the neutron beam. Beam means a large number of neutrons travels in one direction. They strike to the uh, hydrogen atom. The number of neutrons deflected through various angles is determined as a function of neutron energy. So these neutrons collide this and uh, they deflect uh, few, like, few neutron like this, few neutron like this, few neutron like this, this uh, like this. So generally deflecting the neutrons in this manner that is called scattering. Okay. And uh, we have to calculate the angle. So this angle is how much? And uh, this angle is how much? Okay. This angle is how much? This angle is how much? So we have to calculate the, all the angles. As a neutron have no charge, uh, no charge they will not no charge they they here yeah, not the they will not they will not be deflected by the coulombic force okay so neutron has no charge actually they don't have charge so that is why they cannot be deflected by coulombic force means they cannot be uh, repelled okay so if they have the charges they may they repelled but neutron don't have any charges they cannot be repelled so here we can say that Coulomb force cannot be applicable. Therefore, scattering will directly reflect upon the operation of the nuclear forces. Next, the interaction which may be involved here interaction scattering and a radioactive capture. Capture means absorption, which has a low probability. Next, here the certain points are there from this uh, scattering. What are those points? Following points are observed. First one, for neutron, energy greater than one electron volt, the proton can be assumed free. See here, the en neutron energy, if the neutron energy is greater than one, um, one electron volt, then proton can be assumed free. This sets a lower limit to the neutron energy. Next, for neutron energy less than 10 million electron volts. Only associate, uh, it associate with overlapping the nuclear potential and is scattered. Okay, so uh, the energy is uh, less than neutron energy if they less than this one, then here proton is uh, free to move inside the nucleus. If the neutron energy is uh, it is greater than it is neutron energy less than 10 million electron volts, so then it associate and uh, overlap with the nuclear potential. Okay, and it then it scattered. And here one thing, one important point is also mentioned, that is, it is important to mention here that NP scattering is affected by the chemical bonding and it depends on the relative spin orientation of the neutron and proton. Okay. So NP scattering is affected by the chemical bonding, bondings between the uh, electron electron and um, uh, bonding between so one element to other elements. So and also orient spin orientation of the neutrons and the protons so how they are oriented are they along the x axis or are they along the y axis are they along the z axis how they are oriented their spin so that is also affect the scattering process okay friends thank you this is a small topic